Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining um, recent Div2 round um, problem D binary literature. Uh, pretty cool problem. So um, let's jump into uh, uh, deriving the statement and the solution. So basically in this problem uh, you are going to be given three strings three equal length strings and also most importantly uh, they are going to be distinct they are going to be three different strings okay and their length would be up to oh, exactly twice n okay so you're going to be getting the input as n but their length will be twice of n so you, what you have to output is a you have to make another string which will consist of 3n length, length of 3n, 3 times n. But there is a condition. The condition is inside that new string, which will gonna be uh, gonna be consisting of 3 times n amount of length. Inside that, you would have to have at least two strings, and also you have you you need to have that. Uh, th th those two strings as a subsequence form inside your final string at least two okay. they have said at least two okay so basically what you have to do is you have to finally uh, print out a string inside that string there need to be at least two strings subsequence out of these three strings that you're gonna be taking input okay now it might be any of the two strings at least two strings it might also be three strings but actually it's not actually possible or we won't be uh, able to dive into go for all the th three strings so uh, sticking into uh, comparing with the two strings is is the better option here now as they have told us at least two strings so we won't consider at least we will only go for the two strings we will consider only for two strings so up, out of these three strings we're gonna be taking all the possible combinations of two strings and then comparing them trying to find out if there is this there's any way to make a final string consisting of three times n length which would definitely have those two strings all over having also the subsequence that's all we care we care about now the question is if I consider um, as a uh, let's say these these are the two strings that I'm gonna be manipulating with but if you have a closer look that okay this is string has length two times n this is string has length two times n then if this becomes part of a subsequence and this also becomes part of a subsequence but the characters uh, are actually different then you would uh, you would you would understand that it's not possible because both of these le uh, strings length are twice and so if if you take all all over if, if you take each and every member of out of out of the two strings then the total length would be 4n which is not acceptable we need to output a string or our final string which is uh, of length 3n so extra length extra length n is uh, here adding up as an access 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 group of members so we need to get rid of that so by analyzing this observation also one thing to notice is that the strings that we're going to be taking they are going to be binary strings which is important to uh, to know strings meaning by it can have only two characters uh, one could be one is zero and either the uh, another one would be one okay so zero or one could be our possible characters and that's the key observation that's gonna help us here how it's gonna help us I'll show you but so the situation we're here is analyzing this observation we can state that okay now I have to make 
a string consisting of thrice and length okay out of two strings which consist of twice and length each so there has to be at least n length of characters common in both of the section both uh, both my first uh, string and the second string so this is what I have to do so I have to find out a common substring uh, sorry common subsequence out of these uh, out of my taken string let's say a let's denote this string as a and this string as B so I have to take uh, longest common subsequence of length at least n which is going to help me to build my final string so if I could somehow find that uh, then I know uh, that this will uh, this will definitely help us because uh, how will I ultimately create my final string let's say I'm dealing with this string a and B and I'm only considering let's initially first consider all of the characters they belong to my final string just imagine now if I say that I have n common characters which are belong as a subsequence uh, by comparing a and b then I know that the rest of the n characters if I add them after my final string it becomes a length of three times n which is my final string and that's uh, that's the way I created uh, I will create my final string so I hope you get that so the general uh, statement comes to this or the final observation and the general statement comes to this where we reach a situation we need to find at least n length of subsequence uh, longest common n, n, n length of subsequence out of my two strings uh, because if I somehow do that I know that if I denote one of those strings as my first twice n value of my first final string I know that n strings are already there which is of string B because I know that both of them have a common n length of longest common subsequence n length of subsequence you could say and the rest of the characters I could add them just to make it 3n also they have said that any answer is possible okay there can be multiple answers here definitely there has to be multiple answers so basically uh, now the question comes there how am I gonna be finding out the common n length of characters how, how it is possible uh, out of comparing out of uh, the two strings that's where the observation of binary string comes now as the strings are binary I don't have to go for some hardcore DP or something like that which also gives a hint because the cons constraint here is up to 10 to the power 5 which also gives a hint that yes I need some kind of greedy solution here now the greedy solution or observation here is that you will always find if you're given three strings you will always find um, two strings out of them where both of the those strings would have at least n length of some numbers n length of zeros or n length of one and we are not actually jumping into the hardcore um, subsequence where only we will only consider um, the number of zeros or the number of ones we're only considering considering a subsequence where it will always consist of all ones or all zeros why is this possible actually it is possible if you draw out some test cases out of these three strings you will see that uh, there will always be some way where if you compare out of these three strings if you there will always be some way that you will get at least n length of if you compare two strings out of these three strings three strings all the possible ways then you will come to a point that okay there is always a situation which is occurring where two of the characters if you if you consider or compare two strings then one common character either zero or one they are at least one at least n uh, at least n it, it, it always happens to have 
um, so that that was actually the key observation here and uh, when you figure out that observation you will see that uh, or you will notice that okay so I don't have to work that much hard to find out the subsequence of length n because I know what will be the subsequence of length n it can it will be either all zeros or all ones so how will we com uh, compare e each and every uh, how will we um, how are we going to be finding out that so as we're given three strings we will see that um, we would have we will try to find out all the possible combinations 3c2 which is not much uh, basically uh, that's exactly what you're going to be doing doing uh, out of those three strings taking two strings each time and gaining all the possible combinations which is I guess not, uh, six combinations because 3c2 is uh, definitely six and all those combinations are actually happening to compare two strings out of the uh, taking uh, out of out of the three strings we're going to be taking those uh, two strings and comparing each and every combination for each and every combination and to see and to finalize which of those strings uh, referred to that uh, pattern where at uh, where either character one or zero is appearing at least n times and that's how we actually show you an example here uh, let's take one example um, okay let's take this example this looks cool so 011001 let's take it 011001 sorry sorry for the mouse okay zero zero double one zero zero one and then triple one zero one zero triple one zero one zero and zero one one triple zero one triple zero one so as I told you I will try to find out whether I can get at least uh, whether I can get n length of subsequence consisting of all zeros or all all ones by comparing each and every combination from taken combination of two strings taken from these three strings now if you analyze it and if you compare these two strings again I'm telling you you, feel, you will check out all the possible combination it, it won't be it's up to six okay it's totally uh, total combination is six so it's not much complexity won't be an issue here now uh, we have actually figured out here that okay this two if I compare these two strings you will notice that okay this character and this character I've got two twice n is equal to six so n will be three so I need three zeros or three ones so as you can see I've already got three zeros here I've already got three zeros here and if I compare with this string, I know I can I have my n length or three length here, subsequence of zero character, which is basically nothing but this. So I know what will be my final string. My final string will be something like this, which will consist of three. Uh, let's define here my final string. As you can see what I will do okay I'm comparing these two strings and I will denote one of those strings as my member of my final strings so that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing what will I do I will do this uh, let's denote this string as my final zero one zero 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 one now I need to add extra n length but I will do that after I put those things now um, now if I compare okay this matches here this zero matches here and this zero matches here now uh, the question is how many characters are left now in between these two zeros I have got two ones okay no ma uh, doesn't matter just add these two ones here and also one character character uh, one character one which is uh, left here 
and just add it to the last element or after the last element which is here so basically by doing that you are also allowing or you are we're also we are basically creating a string of length three times in so that's exactly what we're going to be doing so i hope you get that but to for more clarification let's take you to the code section okay so i have coded generalizing everything here uh, dealing with the function so you will understand it much better so let's uh, start explaining this so first we took the test case here and then taking input n which is basically the input n and then we know that it's going to be two times n of course two times n a strings length is now what is this memset function doing now this memset function is actually uh, initializing some values as zero I'll tell you what is that what is that we're initializing after taking those three strings we are initializing and we're actually defining a function here which is count zero one what is that referring this is referring that each and every three string three strings that we have taken we're gonna be counting the number of zeros and the number of ones for each and every strings and we have done that using a uh, defining a 2d array so inside that 2d array is count of three times two so total of six combinations uh, so uh, because each and every string will have two counts a count of zero or count of one exactly what we're doing here if any of them is zero then counting zero and one counting one for each and every three strings okay i hope you get that and after that this is the beautiful part here inside this solve function it returns boolean either false or true if it's true it will always be true at some point uh, as you can see uh, as I've told you earlier it's always possible to make n subsequence of either 0 or 1 out of comparing those three strings it's always possible so you, will, you can always make three three times n um, final string length of final string so uh, that's not an issue now uh, inside this every e if function I'm actually defining a solve function and inside that fo solve function if you notice here I'm actually referring each and every combinational period so uh, at some point I may um, compare the string first string with the second string and then first string with the third string and out of all the combinations would yield which is nothing but six and if you, if, if you could see there are six conditions here one two three four five six so basically that's it so inside this solve function i'm taking input of count of zero and count of one of those two strings that i'm comparing and this will give me my final answer if i'm able to do that now how am i going to make sure that i'm able to find out my final value by just comparing uh, the zeros and zeros of the first string with zeros of the second string if there are both greater than or equal to n which is here that's exactly what we're doing yes there is a possibility then do work now this do work function is basically generating the final string after generating the final string and assigning into the string which is defined here we're returning true because we have found out our desired possible answer and both for both of the cases character 0 and character 1 any of them if I find out I know my answer will be the final answer and if I don't find out then just returning the false state uh, false boolean uh, period here a false boolean statement here so I hope you get that now let's jump into the do work function which is the final string function how we're gonna be building the final string function basically uh, it's just just simple implementation uh, you will understand that uh, so the way I did uh, try to find out the do work or the final string is that for each and every okay let's take here so for each and every zero let's say we've got n zero as our subsequence so for each and every zero what we will do we know that our initial final answer would be if I compare for string A and B I will denote my answer S initially 
as a we know that so we just have to add extra uh, characters at the end of it now the way I'm gonna be doing is okay taking let's say comparing string B I have this amount of zeros which uh, which I have found out which is let's say n is equal to 4 uh, for each and every zero before they come I will add how many ones are there for each and every zero I will add how many ones are there because I need to add those extra values inside my final array right uh, without it I cannot make my final array so these between values which are definitely going to be one and this extra last amount of value these extra values I have to consider here that's exactly what I did here actually and these extra values are going to be inside this string a and the suffix part the final suffix part is going to be just adding the uh, after the string I hope you get that it's not that hard to uh, implement although it looks a pretty messy uh, implement here but I hope you get that what I'm trying to say for each and every zero if you say that I have a subsequence of length n of consisting of characters of zero then for each and every zero I will say that what is the between characters and I will just take account of those characters and when I'm gonna be generating like here the generation uh, generating those functions and this while inside this while value I'm just adding those in between values that I've told you and that that we just figured out here and and uh, taking input inside our vector okay how many ones are inside those uh, sections two sections I hope you get that it's not that hard to implement um, so I hope you I made you understand that it was a pretty cool problem um, so uh, till next time goodbye